Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been playing around with this little Divi site here demonstrating some features and somebody sent me a great question from somebody called CanyGrow. Are you able to isolate and animate a single word in H2? Well, simple answer, yep, sure are. You can isolate and, and animate just about anything you want to, and I'll show you how. It's pretty easy. Um, so let's just pick a random word here. I think those are H2s right here. Let's have a look. I'm just going to right click and inspect. I'm using the Chrome browser here with its great inspector tools. Yep, H2. We can see that's H2 there. So let's target one of these words let's target local so let's go ahead and enable the visual builder and now we've got it open let's edit this section here here we are um made it nice and big so we can see it now we want to make sure we're in in text view and i'm going to do some basic uh html editing here what i'm going to do there's that word local right there and as you can see it's wrapped in h2 and like i said make sure you're on the text tab so you can see all your tags and i'm going to wrap that in what they call a span tag Open a pointy bracket, S-P-A-N for span. And then the other side of this, we're going to close it, S-P-A-N. Now, it used to be, I don't know if it still is, that WordPress was really bad for stripping out your span tags when you put them in. So if this doesn't work, we'll find another way of doing it. And I've got another one in mind, but this is the way I'll, I'd do it if I wanted to. So we've wrapped that word local in some span tags. So we can now target that by giving this whole element a CSS class. I'm going to CSS ID in classes and they want us to isolate a word, so I'm just going to call it ISO for isolate, just so I can remember it. So now we've got this element, we've given a, let's just save this. We've got this element here, we've given it a class of ISO, so we can target the element with ISO. We know that's H2, so we can target it with ISO H2, we'll target this specific piece of H2. And we've wrapped that in some span tags. So we know we can target ISO H2 span, and that should target this particular word here. So let's save that. I'm going to check the HTML again just to make sure it's not stripped those span tags out. Because, like I say, WordPress used to do that all the time. Okay, and let's exit the Visual Builder. Right, so let's right click and inspect that bit of H2 text again. There it is, let's open it up. There, well, we can see our span tags are still in there. So that's fine, good. Now, what we need to do is actually go and target it. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard here, down to Divi and Theme Options. You can also do this in the customizer. Or the custom CSS box there, it's the same thing. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. And let's just give it a quick title. And we'll call it isolated. H2. All right, now then, what did we say it was? We called that element ISO. Bit of space, so it's a class, so it's dot, it's always a dot with a class. It's hashtag if you give it an ID, this is a class, so 
class of ISO. And that text was the H2. So we're targeting the H2 within that ISO element. And then we're targeting the span. So span. And we want it to happen when we hover over it, don't we? I hope that's what you meant. Um, that's, that's the way I took that question. Okay, so what do we want it to do? Well, let's just make the font size a bit larger. Let's say font size. I don't know how big that was. It looks about 25 pics, maybe. Let's say 30 pics. And make that a colon, not a semicolon, because it will not work. So uh, 30 pixels. And let's make it change color as well. Um, say red for argument's sake. That should be pretty obvious that it's doing it. <laughs> All right, so we've targeted element text and the span that we created. Should be just that one word. When it hovers, font size grow, color red. Save our changes. Got a nice little checkbox there. Go back to the site and refresh. Now, when we hover over that little word local, it should turn red and grow a little bit. There we go. So it's happening, but I'm not very happy with the way it's happening. It's sort of just jumping, which is okay. I mean, of course, you can do any CSS effect you want. You can spin it, you can twist it, you can you can have it disappear. Um, but I don't want it to happen quite as instantly as that. Because it's almost like it's having a bit of a fit. <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, hey, uh, whoa, whoa. Let's make that a little um, easier here. So let's go back in. And let's just copy the class without the hover. I'm going to put this just above it here. And open and close some curly brackets. And let's have a look. See, let's give it a transition timing of perhaps half a second, something like that. So I'm going to say transition. And I want it all. I'll target all of it, which is only one word, but still got to put that there. And let's say half a second, 0 0.5 seconds. And let's get it to ease in, ease out. That way it should just sort of happen not quite as violently. So we've got transition all half a second, ease in, ease out. Now, when you're using these transition CSS, you might want to put WebKit and then copy that again. That'll, it's what they call a vendor prefix. That'll ensure that it works on other browsers. You can do, I don't think you need to do this one anymore. Let's, Get rid of that align content. Um, there's another one that's, that's Moz, and same thing again. But I I think they've updated Moz so it works without that. But so to ensure you can put both of those there to ensure it's going to work. Let's save our changes. And let's go back to the site now and refresh. Now, when we hover over it, it should take half a second to make that uh, little hover effect there. It shouldn't be quite so violent. There we go. That's a, bit, that's a little bit more uh, easy on the eyes. doesn't look like it's uh, a glitch. That's better. So 
So I hope that's what you meant. And of course, now you've you've given all these things a class and a done it. You can you can simply if you want to do this, um, let's say home. Let's enable the visual builder again. We can simply give it the same class. Let's hit that element. And which what span, which home we said, didn't we? So let's put span tags around that. All right. Now we need to give it the same class again, which is ISO. If my memory serves, which sometimes it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And save our changes. Exit the visual builder. Now, when we hover over that uh, word home, it should have the same effect. And of course it does. Let's see what I've done wrong there. Uh, I'll save it. Uh, home. <laughs> okay, that's what we did wrong there. I gave it an ID instead of a class. Of course, that will not work. So we'll give it the class of ISO. And we'll save it. And exit the Visual Builder again. And hopefully this time it will work. This is what happens when you talk while you're coding, you get things wrong. Okay, let's try that now. There we go. And of course you can target any word or indeed anything you want with that same thing by just wrapping it in a span and giving it that ISO class and it'll have the same effect there. And like we said before, if if for some reason WordPress strips out those span tags and it stops working, which occasionally it does, I've seen it happen before in the past, maybe they fixed that little bug. Um, what I would do in that case would be to go in and just make that word an H3 and make the H2 and the H3 exactly the same size and same color so you can't tell the difference and then target the H3 rather than a span. And that will work just as well. So I hope that's answered your question. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free development courses down there, as well as some premium courses that are heavily discounted for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.